Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today, we are drinking Matty O's from Legal Remedy Brewing out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. Thanks for joining us. And my leprechaun. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back once again to do that. Appreciate you checking out this video. I've got Jay, I've got Andy in the attic. What are we drinking today, gentlemen? Matty O's, Irish Red Ale from Legal Remedy Brewing Company. Out of Rock Hill, South Carolina. All right. Always like a good red ale. And hopefully, I'll like this one too. Mm. We just, just again waiting to come out of the can. So careful. Yeah. We've talked about styles that we don't really get a lot of here in Mississippi. Red right ale is definitely one of them. Super carbs. Mm, it is. Simmer down. All right. All right. Did, did you bring this one back? Andy? Yes. I brought this when I went out to uh Hill Hill Hill. Hill. Yep. Nice. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mates. I have to do my fake smile longer to catch up. So, so Ben can catch up on our cheers because your screen grabs are notoriously bad for our thumbs or, you know, that you put on there. Um, because I noticed yours, your face looks smiley and good and all of them. <laughs> but me and Jay, we're kind of like, and, uh, yeah. Wait, so wow. I've got to sit here and fake smile. Wait on you, Ben. Uh, you know, I mean, history is created by the victors. Is that applicable here? Something like that? To his credit, he's told us that we need to do that. So <laughs> fake smile, fake smile more. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> give me something to smile about jeez so i give red you something ale. to smile about no <laughs> no <laughs> let's talk about red ales now yes please what, what, gives the red, what gives the red ale its color uh, it's i mean not you know red but um some of them can get kind of reddish. This is, yeah, you know, copper, and deep yeah. amber. And, um, kilned malts and roasted barley. I guess the way they do it, it gets the, brings the red out. This one is 5%, 35 IBUs. And uh, well, they named it the Irish Ale of County York. They didn't get go into much detail other than that so legal remedy didn't say either i yeah, i'm wondering if it is one of the the brewers uh, or owners owners yeah so legal remedy uh it sounds like it's a kind of a small operation um started in rock hill south carolina actually technically it started in 2009 uh, by a lawyer a landscape architect two bankers and a computer guy Wow. Yeah, yeah, Ben. And they entered in some uh, homebrew competitions. Um, they won a contest in 2012, and then they decided to go legal, you know, make beer for real. So in 2014, they made their first legal batch of Legal Remedy. Uh, that's when it went to market. And then they opened brewery nine months later. And um, so it's available in North Carolina and South Carolina. Like a brew pub now, I think. 
Nice. That's about it. All right. Did you uh, did you bring back enough that you have tried one of these already? I did not try it. I actually saved myself okay. for the good of the show. The, our people, our fan, our person, and, and you too. Well, I definitely appreciate that. I mean, I broke my streak on another one. You know, I have a couple others. I just decided to stop yeah. saving myself and drink around on you. You know, it is tough when, you know, that's one of the things about the show that does kind of get tough sometimes. You go to the beer fridge, you know, at any given point, we may have a fair amount of inventory and you just look at all those pretty beers and you go, man, I want to drink this one or that one. And you just can't because we got to save it. You know, it's so hard for us, given that we live apart, to get beer to each other sometimes for the show. That, yeah, that's one of the or... toughest parts about doing the show. We get give each other too much beer and we're <laughs> running behind on drinking yeah. it and reviewing it. And yeah, we got right. the extras. And, hey, I'm trying to do my part, guys. I really am. Yeah. Yeah. I just, it's like hard to justify me going to my local beer store or getting look, beer that I can get. And then I've got, I've got so much beer additional to, you know, the extras from, uh, from this. So, well, and just like this case, you've got extra Matty O that you're holding on to to save until you try it for the show. I am. <laughs> I've got four or five beers like that where, you know, we're going to review them eventually. And I've got all these extras that I am not drinking any of. So, yeah. uh, but I mean, it's a good have? problem to have. <laughs> yeah. problem. I, I don't. So, you know, if I want to drink it, I drink it. Yeah. You, can, you can go take down all those keystones now. Uh, yeah. Short term. <laughs> slowly, slowly working on those. Uh, slowly. So, anyway. All right. Um, I'll jump in there and go first because uh, it's been a while since I've gone first. Um, I like it. I think it's, you know, for me, I think uh, it, it's not blowing me away from a, a red perspective, um, but it's it's good. Uh, I, I, so it's going to be kind of a middle of the road red for me. Definitely drinkable. Definitely one I could, you know, have multiples of. Uh, nothing like that. You know, nothing where I wouldn't. Um, five percent it's it's good all day i mean i do get you know the, the malt flavor of a red you know again it just kind of sits for me kind of in the middle um of of other reds that i've had um uh, but definitely a good beer glad you brought it back uh thanks for doing so i'm mm -hmm. going to give it a seven and a half okay um yeah uh it's been a while since I've had a red, actually. I can't can't remember the last time. It's probably something that we did. <clears throat> Maybe the Alaskan red or something like that. But uh, yeah, this one to me, it's it, it you can definitely get the malts coming through. Um nice and 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 good in a red. Um uh, it's a strong, solid offering. I'd give it a seven. I agree with you, Ben. I'd drink it, but it's not something I'm going to necessarily reach for, but I, I enjoy it. All right. I like a good Irish red. Uh, and, I, and this one's good. And I'm trying to think. Okay. The Irish reds we reviewed. Um, what was the uh, from the Dublin Smittix? Mm -hmm. and that was a good one and that when you taste that you think ireland um this one um it tastes like an american version of irish red but i like it i like it it's not too caramel malty uh it's you know i, I just a hint of a type of bread you know feel to it um taste um it's it's it kind of like American breweries doing Martins, you know, like we've said in the past. It's sure. it's an American brewery doing an Irish red. And it's very drinkable, and I mean, I I had to stop myself from drinking. It's just light and smooth. And, um, I give it a seven. <clears throat> yeah, 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 I, I the others. you hit the nail on the head. It, it's the American version of an Irish red. I think uh I think that's exactly uh exactly the the best way you can describe it. Um so good job. 
Yeah. Thanks for getting it, Andy. Yeah. You're welcome. That is going to be a 7.2 for Maddie O's Irish Red Ale from, I'm already forgetting the brewery name. Legal, Legal Remedy, Remedy Brewing. Brewing. Legal Remedy Brewing. I should have committed that to memory beforehand, but I did not. Um, yeah, as we said, a, a, a decent offering uh, for an Irish Red. Um, and so one, if you can find a distribution, if you're in South Carolina or North Carolina, then give it a shot. Let us know what you think about it. Uh, or if you see it somewhere else, grab it and uh, let us know as well. With that, uh, be sure to like, uh, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. Check us out on all of our links down below in the description. we got a bunch of information down there, stuff you're definitely going to want to check out. I mean, no doubt. Uh, and also, come say hey in our Discord server. We have a Hopped Up Beer Review Discord server where we chat about beer and beer and other beer. And lastly, if you have any interest in any Hopped Up Beer Review merch, then there you go. It is Jay is showing off some of the stuff we have out there that you nice can pick up. There. He's somewhere. I don't know. I've got <laughs> two screens going. Um, but uh, yeah, you can check that out and uh, grab that from uh, the link below. And uh, yeah, uh, that'll do it. Another show is in the books. Thank you for checking out our video. For Andy in the attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.